Hey guys, it's Adrian from AdrianCityMask.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom pattern and use it as an alpha map for Substance Painter or other 3D applications. Alright, and first thing first you're going to have to create your own custom pattern. For example, I create this object in here and what we're going to do, I'm going to duplicate it across this grid and make it as a texture, as a height map. Alright? And in order to get a tileable texture, I'm gonna use a plane. All right. Now there are two different methods to accomplish this kind of pattern, and this is the uh, first method. I'm gonna go to standard pra uh, parameter. I'm gonna insert the plane, and I snap it to the grid. Activate, snap to the grid, and snap it. All right. Yeah, in here. I'm going to select my object, I'm going to center the pivot, effect pivot, center the pivot, I'm going to move the pivot down on Z axis to the bottom, alright, like that. Now be sure to go to grid and snap setting and activate vertex, snap and as well go to options and enable axis constraints, alright. Now we exit out of the effect pivot only, activate snap. I'm gonna snap my object on each one of these vertex in our plane. All right. I'm gonna hold Shift. All right. Left click and I snap it to the left. I use an object that's instance and number of cop copies. I select four. All right. I'm gonna duplicate it as an instance four times again on the left side. Now we just create our entire object and duplicate it across this plane here. All right, now I'm gonna select our plane. I'm gonna go to uh, convert it to edible poly. All right, now I'm gonna to modify a list. So I'm gonna select UV map. Alright, I'm gonna leave everything at default, planner, mapping. Now in the modify list, I'm gonna select and find projection. Alright, in projection list, go to reference geometry and pick your object. It takes time to pick each one of them. Let's pick list and select all your pattern details. Alright, let's go to cage and select the cage all right and move the cage up to the surface of our object right here all right now we are done here let's see all right now I'm gonna go to and render this object onto a plane I'm gonna to render render to texture all right, in here I'm gonna en enable projection, go to options, I'm gonna go to setting, I'm gonna select my renderer as a, a scan line renderer, then I'm gonna go to renderer and enable global sampling, hemisphere, and crack up the quality to one and close the window. I'm gonna uncheck ray mask check and close the window here. Use existing channel, sub object and objects. All right, now in the output, I'm gonna select height map. All right, add elements. Target map of flat, just leave it empty. And in the resolution, I choose like 5, 12. All right. Now render to files only and in the file name and type I'm gonna choose a location and format in here. Alright. It's okay and hit render. Alright. I give it a second to render a texture or a height map. Then I'm gonna import it and in Substance Painter and let's see what result we're gonna get inside of yeah. texture painting software. Alright, I'm gonna go to my direction to 
so like our height map and this is the map we get all right as you can see here we don't get this details on the center and it's kind of wobblish and we don't get a good render the reason for that is that you have to go back to our options go to height map and we're playing in right here and we want to project details about uh, less than one centimeter height so mean height set it as a zero and max size it as 0 0.7 and close the window I'm gonna hit the render again and then we're gonna see the results all right I give it a second to render it all right I'm gonna open up the substance painter and we're gonna apply the height map into this surface right here all right now let's go back and let's see the result all right now you can see we get all the details we necessarily needed this circle at the middle and we get a very perfect map if you want to uh, have a higher resolution you can just crank up the resolution in the setting all right now I'm gonna drag and drop this height map to my substance painter I'm gonna use it as an alpha image your resources to current session imported all right then in Substance Painter, I'm gonna create a folder. I'm gonna give it a black mask. I'm gonna go to face and select all these faces in here that I want to apply my details. Then I'm gonna go to my folder. I'm gonna add a fill layer to it. I'm gonna set the fill layer again, a black mask drag and drop this failure to our mask folder black mask again I'm gonna add a fill to my black mask and drop and uh, drag and drop or height map to grayscale all right let's go back to our failure let's increase the height all right let's give it a color like pure white let's go to our fill layer and give it like a 20 in a scale and let's always see the results all right now this is our result right here very easy we create our pattern across this surface right here all right this was the end of this tutorial i hope you like it be sure to subscribe hit that thumbs up button and see you guys next time take care